hope you're all doing well. I'm about to get started on a 60 minute session. This is a follow up session. So I'll put links in the description to all the previous sessions if you're interested in checking them out. I will say um, the previous session that we did was focusing on um, looking at this client's struggles with Morgellons disease. So if you're interested in seeing what Morgellons disease looks like on the energy side of things, I'd, I'd highly encourage you to take a look. Um, we're going to be continuing where we left off in the session today. So I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay. So the goals are, I've seen some improvement since our last session a month ago. The sores and fibers are slowly clearing up on my legs but I still feel an overall fatigue, pain, and weakness. I had a biopsy on one lesion a couple of weeks ago because I read that a systemic fungal infection could be a root cause of Morgellons, and I haven't gotten the results on that yet. But the real question is, what is really behind this awful disease beyond the physical? I felt a lot of anger in the last month, and frustration too. And I'm finding de-stressing to be very difficult, especially since we're living through such volatile times. I'm hoping that you'll be able to go a little deeper during the session and also release any soul contracts that might be in play here as well. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering about just reading this right now it's 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 like a lot of heaviness almost hard to talk through and i know a big part of what i was running into in your energy field was how you're processing stress so if you, if you're not allowing the energies to flow and they get built up and then you're under stress Let's say you have a lot of stress energy just built up in your energy field. So where is that going exactly? And how is that impacting your physical body? And how do we transmute that energy? And you're right. It's a very odd time in human history for everybody. And it's challenging us in unique ways. We got to take a look at this. Like even right now, it's just like this really intense energy. It's just really big energy, almost like swallowing me up in a way. It makes me sad. It makes me feel serious. All right, let's get down to business here, okay? I'm going to relax. See what tips that the spirit realm will have as well about how in the world are you to work through stress? I mean, how are how could all of us? I mean, we all need more help with this, right? Okay. See what your energy field looks like right now. It is so surreal. It's like you're very, 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 very far away. The thing is, is I'm walking into your energy field. I'm already in your energy field, but the aspect of you, Y-O-U, is really, really far away. It's almost like your energy field is extremely bloated out. And it's kind of like a bluish white color. It's this feeling of, I don't even know where to begin. Oh my God, <laughs> that's literally what it feels like. Not because I don't know where to begin, but there's all this energy just sort of uh, vibrating around um, that feeling of almost a panic. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know how to begin to fix this. It, it's way bigger than myself. So I'm, I'm done. I, I give up. Screw this. It's kind of that type of feeling, okay? It's in your energy field. It's something that's echoing inside of yourself. And this, the next thing, okay, there's so much going on here. Okay, it's very cold, energetically cold in here. I have to understand the mystery of why you are so far away. Why your energy field is so, in a way, bloated out. 
It's miles and miles and miles and miles of what exactly? It's very cold in here. It's bluish white. It's blubbery feeling. It's got all these like vibrations, like brrr, these ripples all over the place. It's bigger than me. I give up. I'm done. <laughs> so it's kind of vibrating around like that, which is going to make you feel just at a loss, you know? There's a lot of manipulative energy in here as well. I mean, obviously I feel like giving up is manipulative, but this is actually sinister. There's a sinister energy. It has to do with something around your head, okay? This might be influencing your anger. Could be, could be buzzing around encouraging anger. Feels like something um, outside of yourself, but I'm just going to keep uh, analyzing everything here. Hmm. As of right now, it is saying that it is 50% you and 50% something else, like a an entity with bad intentions. Isn't that interesting? When I look at the 50% you, I see this darkness around your eyes and in your face, and your face is blue, and you're very, very ice cold. And there's an anger behind your eyes that does not effing care anymore. <laughs> I mean, it is like firm about it. It is, is cussing about it. Like it is just standing its ground. I just don't effing care anymore. I mean, it's very specific. I mean, you're literally saying that right now. And then it's like good cop, bad cop. So the 50% you that doesn't effing care anymore is turning into bad cop, which is the sinister side. So, I mean, good cop is pretty angry, but the sinister side is the, the evil behind the anger within yourself. So it's the actual bad cop. <laughs> And it's attached to your backside. So I can see your face and your body and your eyes are just like pure black. And it's just radiating anger, okay? Like vi rings of vibration come out of the eyes. And then when it switches, um, I see bad cop, which is the sinister dark um, being that is attached to your backside. But then he has his own front side. He's protecting you. He's proving to you why you should be angry. angry. He's uh, manipulating you into feeling like he's, um, he's absorbing in a lot of the pain and suffering that you're going through. But all he's doing is just filtering it into you and proving to you what, you know, reasons why you should feel like this encouraging you to feel this way and he's a very good listening ear so if you need somebody to complain to he will listen all day long and he'll be there to sympathize and be supportive all the while he is the sinister darkness behind and all of this behind you i am behind you a hundred percent on this yes i understand that you are this angry Yes, be angry. <laughs> you see how messed up the world is, you see? Like, he's kind of this manipulative filter. Very sinister. Yeah, he's... You, you... I'll be honest with you, right here, right now, this is still the beginning, but this is going to encourage, encourage your Marjolans to stay. I, I can tell you right now because I'm seeing echoing off of what is what has become you. <laughs> this is a hodgepodge. It's a mashem of yourself and this sinister entity, okay? Who's really there for you? Really, really there for you. But you and this festering anger, that's just, you know, hooking you up to the IV of Mergellin's disease. It is going to continue to pump you full of the, the energy that is encouraging this in the first place. It is majorly stress-related. Wow. 
Wow. I'm glad that you're experiencing improvements. This is ex this is pretty extreme. I mean, this is very extreme. So I can imagine that you're going through a lot. It's 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 almost like I would I am almost can <laughs> it's like I feel like this has got to be worse than what I originally saw. Like this is bad. Like we got to resolve this entity relation. That alone is bad. It's jacking up your whole, like, everything having to do with energy that's revolving around your mind, higher wisdom, your throat even too. I mean, all your chakras are going to be involved, but right now it's really filtering a lot of energy around your head. You are, your energy field is bonkers, okay? <laughs> How did you do it? I don't know. You're incredible. How did you do it? <laughs> it's like, wow. Your energy field is really unique. You created this, just so you know. You did create this. Life is hard. <laughs> I will get you back together again, okay? We'll totally get you fixed back up. You're going to feel awesome after this session. Do you hear me? Awesome, okay? All right. Pretty convincing because I, okay, I'm trying to figure out, do I need to focus on him and you right now? Um, or is that going to be a distraction? Like maybe I can look at some other stuff, which is then going to make him more vulnerable. So I have to really pay attention to everything around. So I'm not paying him any attention. I'm actually looking into your, the energy, particularly around your head, because it is real goofy. And... Um, there's like little tiny worms of his voice um, in your brain, in your face, and they're, it's jacked up. It's really bad. I mean, he's, he's, it's like every tiny little pinworm is like, um, is infused with a convincing argument, okay? And there's thousands of them. And so he's basically, your mind is riddled with his energy. That's why you're going to have to really work on being in control of yourself, your, your emotions. Nobody else's, your emotions. And you can choose to, to fall into those feelings. I know how easy it is to do it. It's, it's hard, okay? Nobody said that it was going to be easy. But you're going to have to really say, if I'm going to beat this thing... I'm going to have to be like a hawk on myself here with love, with harmony, with balance, with peace of mind. I mean, it's on the level that if you can escape life for a several weeks and go to like a, a yoga rehab or something, like somewhere where it's completely all about, you know, zen and chi and <laughs> like those types of yoga experts that love you that are here to help support de-stressing teaching you proper stretches there's people that are just brilliant at that stuff and that right there is going to teach you on a physical level how to de-stress okay if you can do it because it's pretty extreme here I can get rid of all this stuff and I'm just telling you this is the next thing that I'm I'm to look at here. This we can get this to go away. But then once I'm once I got this gone, what what is your what are you gonna do? Okay, because you could bring this stuff in at any time. So we gotta come up with a strategy. We gotta come up with a game plan here, okay? But I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel like transformed after this. Okay. Okay, so I'm just touching one of these little worms. They're kind of a, they're pretty looking. I mean, they glow in the dark blue and black and they have like neon yellow eyeballs. They're really tiny. And I'm just touching one on the like third eye and it's very electrical, very zappy. It doesn't like to be touched. It doesn't like to be talked to. It doesn't like to be looked at. <laughs> 
I'm just like, I'm eyeballing you. I'm touching you. I'm touching you right now. <laughs> it's just doing that to it. <laughs> See what he does. Oh, weird. Okay, just a moment. <sighs> Something changed. <sighs> this is moving a lot of energy in your head here, but all these tiny little pinworms turned into very thin hairs, okay? And they all got absorbed into this really dark, sinister entity who's just looking at me. He basically glows blue and white. And he kind of, I mean, he kind of has, you know, like in Star Wars when um, there's the recording of like Luke and he's talking through the recording. He's, he's in this like bluish white light and he's talking to Jabba the Hutt and they would like, they found this message. He glows like a blue and white, like I can see kind of through him, but... He's really, really, really focused on the mind, particularly. He's made out of electricity, like, like pain. He's like made out of electrical pain, like, like fibromyalgia, like that, like he's nerve pain. Like he's made out of what would be, I would describe as pain, like could be nerve pain, okay? Electrical feeling zapping pain. I don't know if I should tease him or... I feel like maybe I'll just be serious, I guess. <laughs> I'm just seriously what, looking at him right now. I tell him that... I know that you're here to help with lessons. I can just put you in a box right now and send you away, but let's figure this out, shall we? Let's figure this out. You're hurting my client. You're hurting her. He doesn't say anything, but he his eyes start to, like, weep with these weird worms. Like, his eyes are weeping with the worms. So that literally, worms are coming out of his eyes. The tiny little pinworms. I'm gonna look into his eyes and I'm gonna see you, okay? Because it was saying it's 50% you and 50% an entity. I mean, that's straight up what it said. I mean, the energy was straight up like that. So. He's still laughing, but I'm just ignoring it. I see you're trapped and you're suffocating inside of him like he just swallowed you whole and he contains you. He he doesn't speak. He um he works with images more than anything, but but he's kind of talking to me through images here about me putting him in a box and sending him away would have sent you away with him. And but that's all just that that's not true. He's just creating ideas and ins reasons to feel fearful or insecure. <sighs> I just ignore his his energy and I just look into your eyes and I say what a beautiful person that you are inside and out. And I see you inside of him and you have duct tape over your mouth and you're pleading with your eyes to be set free and all the worms inside of him are eating you alive. Mm, I gotta understand where this came from. 
this is pretty hard on the solar plexus, just so you know. Uh, like, the emotions, the throat. Like, it's an infestation of worms. It, it's like me sitting here feeling like a million worms are going in my solar plexus. It's, it's like an infestation. It's not bothering me, but it's your experience, you know? It's your experience. You're being infiltrated by energetic worms. It's just really bad. Still working on clearing it out. We will clear this out, but it is complicated. And I'm going to have to get to the root of this in order to definitely, like, if I just send this away, what are you learning? Like, I got to help you. <laughs> we got to get to the bottom of this. We got to, I got to get you to send him away. I need to get your deeper consciousness, subconscious, all your inner selves to see and understand, to become empowered, to say, ah, I have the power to send this away. Okay, I'm going to send it away. That way, I, Abby, am not doing all the work for you. I'm teaching you how to do it inside yourself. That way, when I'm done with the session and you go back to living your life, you have more inner power, okay? Because you're going to have to have inner power to conquer this. This isn't just, I get rid of the soul contracts. Like, your lesson here is to discover your inner power, so if this, we just, you're just done with it, you're done with the lesson, you aren't actually done with the lesson because you have to learn inner power, self-control. You're going to have to learn certain energies like this. I know, like, eh, eh, gag me with a spoon, but it's part of the lesson. And you can do it. You can do this. You're still working on getting out of this. So there's an angel here. This angel is c covered and hidden in the color red. And it's talking to me about a lifetime. So we can look at some of these experiences um, paralleling from one life into this life. And some of the struggles you're taking with you from other lives into this life so we can create sort of energetic reminders that helped you to let go or forgive yourself or forgive others from other lives which will empower you through this as well this angel is weird <laughs> like um you could say it feels like a dark angel but there's there's no dark angels. Every angel has a gift to share, okay? Every angel does. And so this angel sort of looks like, let's see here. This is the second has a lot, it's shifting a lot in your head. It's creating a lot of stress on your shoulders, back your neck, back your head. You really want some cupcakes and rainbows here, but we're it's going to get dark. It's going to get ugly. Because that's what we need to clear out to help you feel better, okay? <sighs> you feel, like, so controlled. You feel so, like... It sucks because it's, like... You're controlled by an invisible force, in a way. You know? It's just... How do you set yourself free when there's no bars, when there's literally no nothing imprisoning you, but yet there is something definitely imprisoning you? And people don't understand it, you know? Very few people understand this because understanding how to work with energy or how to see energy is not something we're <laughs> looking into <laughs> on the mass scale in our collective at this time, but... We could be more empathetic, sympathetic, more supportive of each other's experiences, even experiences that don't make sense. Because we got to get out of the logical mind to look into the energy world. And we can take the logical mind with us in the energy world if we want to. You just need support. You need like a support group. You need people that are going through the same thing. And you're all doing yoga together. You're all supporting each other through this. You have to keep building yourself up. And having others to to keep you guys all staying positive. Like you got to stay positive in this. I mean I can feel. I don't know how you've been surviving to be honest. The, your energy filled. There's, I'm still 
even as I'm talking, I'm generating light and I'm still figuring stuff out. It's a big, big deal what you got going on here. It's just perplexing how you got it to this extreme so fast. But I know you've been burdened with this type of energy for a while. <sighs> All right, I'm going to focus on this angel. Okay, you're going to have you're going to just have to relax because the reason why it's coming through like this is because we're going to have to work on your insecurities, okay? You're going to have to face some dark stuff. This it, that for some reason this angel intimidates you. You don't ever be intimidated by the evil spirit, the weird technological pinworms, the weird angel in red. Don't ever be intimidated by anything in the energy world. You see unneeded stress, unnecessary stress. I give this angel a high five all day long. I can give the pinworms a high five. I can give anybody in the energy world a high five. They don't control or own me. The reason why is because I understand how energy works. Anything in your life right now that makes you feel small, grow and give it a high five and say, you're awesome for teaching me how to be big and strong and not worry about you. Because me not being stressed out is the most important thing in rehabilitating my body and my life. And I'm not going to stress out about weird angels. I'm not going to stress out about weird spirits. I'm not going to stress out about technological pinworms. I'm not going to stress out about Morgellons disease. I'm not going to stress out about anything. Because what I have to do is not stress out. I'm just going to just chill out here. Still working on getting you to go to this angel. Still working on getting to... I have to bring you with me. So that we, because you're resisting, okay? And as I'm talking, I'm teaching your inner essence the importance of not feeling stressed out and what, what it feels like to just feel safe, to just feel secure. I know easier said than done. I'm doing so much more than I could keep up in language, but I'm the primary things that I'm working on is filling you with light, grounding you, helping you to feel safe in your own body, not worry about that evil spirit guy because he really doesn't deserve your time or energy or attention. And when we don't give the evil spirits our time or energy or attention, they don't get anything from us. And then they're like, oh, well, I'm not getting anything, so I'm going to just go to somebody else now see if I can get something from somebody else. So they just go away, okay? Um, but you have to be relentless. It could take months. I mean, you got to be relentless. Or it could just take a day. It just could take, I'm just not going to go there with it. Okay. You're really, really uncomfortable about this angel. And I, I feel like the reason why you're uncomfortable is because this angel is going to open a doorway into something very uncomfortable in your other lifetimes, okay? Like, you can't even cope with it. You can't even look at it. It's just that bad. That's why this this angel feels dark because it's trying to help you face something that's very dark inside yourself. And you don't want to face it. You don't. So you're kind of resisting. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to kind of help you. So I am, I'm going to help you. So I'm just mo moving your feet towards this angel. And I'm saying, you're safe. I've got you, okay? This angel is, it's like looking at the monster in the mirror, okay? And this angel will challenge you. He's looking pretty scary right now. And I tell him, just hang in there. Just look into his scary little eyes. Like, it's not going to hurt you. His face is melting off from the inside. His eyes are dripping black. He's like melting in front of us. He's wearing like a priest outfit, a red um, bishop type hat and a red kind of garb with a cross on it. I'm just helping you to stand your ground and not run away from this.
Okay, this is going to get worse. So now there's several beings in here, and we're in a, a room, and they're just surrounding us, okay? And one of them just, I'm part of you, you're part of me, so he just lifts you up by your head, and this just tosses you really hard against the wall. And then there everybody's just laughing, and then it's like, ooh, who gets to go next to hurt you? There's another one that's kicking you while you're down. It's like, this is going to get really gruesome. This is going to get really gruesome. This is helping to guide you into memories from other times. When it got really gruesome, when a crowd of people just started doing very terrible things to you. The centerpiece of their sick, twisted moment as a group. Like you don't have a soul or something. You don't aren't actually alive. <sighs> this is weird. Okay, the next thing is, so you're not going to let me look at that lifetime. You just keep closing your eyes really tight. Wanting them to go away. Just go away. Just go away. Just go away. Just go away. And it's like, you got to open your eyes. When you open your eyes, their their eyes are all black, and their faces, some of them have, like, snakes coming through. Some of them are dripping, like, they look pretty creepy, scary looking. I say stand up. And I see the sinister side, the 50% sinister side. With all these worms dripping out of his eyes, is still happening. He's here watching the whole thing, and he's really enjoying watching you being hurt. You feel comforted by him. So he's like, you can come back when you're ready, and I'll shield you from all these monsters and all this pain and suffering. You don't want anything. He's not helping you. He's worse. He's terrible. The, the angel in red's actually guiding you to support, to the solution. The solution is not fun, okay? This evil guy is going to just hold you in limbo for as long as you want. So it's the difference between it's too scary to face this authentic stuff. I'd rather live in the illusion with the sinister guy. So I know both paths are not very great, but at least this path is a solution to you conquering this. Is that you got to become strong. You have to face this. And you don't need the sinister guy unless you want to give up. I start to see the angel in red turns to Archangel Michael. And he reaches his hand out for you. And he welcomes you to ask for angelic support is what it is. He can't take away your lessons like he can't take away your suffering but he can support you through the process of healing this is healing healing is a painful process but it gets better that's why healing is great because on the other side of healing is a brand new life experience boy it's getting so hot like i feel like i'm cooking on the inside Oh, like getting really, really warm. Your energy field was very cold. I feel like this is you breaking off from that 50% sinister. It's you getting the strength. <sighs> I mean, it is getting hot. <laughs> and I'm feeling you disconnecting from that sinister guy. <sighs> It's very, very hard for you to do this. It's, it's interesting because you're looking at him, but you're looking at Archangel Michael and you're telling Archangel Michael, I'm done with the sinister guy. I mean, you're not saying anything, you're just expressing. And I feel the sinister guy peeling off the back of you. It's very surreal. I feel all this stuff, but you feel weak, like you can't even stand on your own two feet. But you're finding the strength to do this. This is rock bottom. You got, you got, it's only going to get better from here. This is the worst it'll ever get. I mean, you got to believe that. 
So all of these monsters are disappearing. And Archangel Michael gives you a really big hug and he's sorry that he had to be that. But he was choosing to be a mirror that you needed to face. And he was with you the whole time. And he never left you. You have, um, the next thing I'm supposed to look at, you have a big hole in your heart. It's all rot. It's all like a rotten apple. All right, this is creating a lot of sadness and grief. You have weird energy attachments to the top of your head that are just kind of sliding off. I mean, very weird looking things. They're weird feeling and looking. One's kind of like a weird slinky and it's a squishy like a sea cucumber and it's gray. And it's just sort of attached to like right here at the top and it's like a leech like thing and it's slowly just like a slug coming down and off your face. It's so weird. <laughs> You're feeling a lot more peaceful instantaneously, like you're getting yourself back to yourself. You're regaining yourself. The sinister guy is almost completely gone, okay? And I'm starting to feel your energy field is coming back to you. Um, it's not you inside side swallowed up by sinister guy. It's you. I'm done with sinister guy. <sighs> I'm back to me working with Archangel Michael, supporting me through facing my fears. And I feel your energy field is coming back to you and you're turning the color red on the inside and it's very full of like heat, warmth, lots of warmth happening. And it's getting silent, like quieter. Um, your mind, your head is getting so much quieter. You feeling like like peace of mind is happening because it's quieter <laughs> oh the racket is gone i can finally sleep <laughs> you feeling better okay there's more all right i will say that this is like a massive step forward like you're actually not your energy field is not jacked up anymore just so you know it's actually starting to feel like like it should it should be i mean okay so there's some harmonious issues like there's some disharmony here but you don't feel like totally jacked up <laughs> like you're coming back you're coming back you really are very quickly okay so all right, so this is the next thing. There's some like pretty dark beings here. They're kind of flat, like pieces of paper, like black shadows. They're in the red light. There's, I don't know, three? I can see two, but it I, there's gotta be three. It feels like three of them. And this one, I keep seeing this one and he's he looks like the shape of a leaf, okay? But he just has a round head, and then there's his neck, and then this kind of bows out like a leaf shape, okay? And there's one on either side. I just can't stop looking at this one. And he's a shadow that casts a shadow in the red. And they're not in the same red area as you and Archangel Michael. Um, they're in a, a, another red space. Okay, so... Okay, so there's another warmth radiating here. It's Archangel Lucifer's here. And you aren't threatened by that. You're, you feel safe. But he's asking you to know that it is okay to look into his eyes. And in Lucifer's eyes, this is the next thing, okay? There's a weird, um, they're pure pitch black. And there's a weird, like, um, reflection of light. 
and uh, he looks pale white with almost pale um, blonde hair. Okay, Angel Lucifer does. And this, he's sort of like, there's, okay, here's this red room, you and Archangel Michael. I'm just sort of looking at everything right now. And then in the direction of this other red space where these three shadows are, then right here is Archangel Lucifer before you cross the membrane over into this other red room. And so then you're just, you aren't afraid. Like you're okay to look at, into his eyes. I mean, he doesn't look healthy. He looks weird, okay? That's, he's doing this for a reason. They always do. These archangels are really, really beautiful, wise beings. They're here to help us. Okay, this is another challenge. This is another you having to face. <sighs> this has to do with your throat big time. <sighs> this is uh, bringing up some really dark history from your soul journey. I mean, oh my god, it's bad. Hold on. <sighs> All it's going to show me about it is a river of blood, okay? I feel like a child, and I'm in a panic, and I can't figure out how to move my body. I can't even make a sound in order to scream, and there's tyranny going on all around me. That's all I can experience. <sighs> but it's way worse than this, okay? This river of blood is symbolic for something in your soul journey other lifetimes that is very, very painful, very, very difficult, very wrong, okay? It would feel very wrong. He's, he's helping you to feel it's, okay, it's safe, it's okay. <sighs> this is so hard because there's a, it's like um, you're crying inside, there's a baby in your throat, that's, that's the next thing. You can't get it out of your throat. <sighs> I see Archangel Michael come and he closes his eyes and he puts his hands on your shoulders. And he sends lots of love into you and into the back of your mind. And he tells you, you are safe. You are safe. And Archangel Lucifer encourages you to, to know that by looking at these images... And in revisiting these images, it's helping to reconcile your soul's energy that has been harmed along the way. It's not just the body that gets harmed, it's the soul. We don't think about that. When we shoot someone, it's not just shooting the body. The soul actually experiences this. That's why souls get stuck, okay? That's why purgatory happens, because the soul can feel so ingrained in being human that forgets about what how to be in the spirit realm. Like, it can forget. And when it, it dies in a, a, a moment of fear and panic, it can get stuck. So... There's been a lot of damage to your soul along the way, and that damage then has gotten you stuck. They aren't going to show me the, the lives, but they're, it's like connected to a lot of lives that are very difficult. And that's all that's going to be shared. But we're reconciling a lot of energies here, and we're he helping to mend your soul. It's um, almost done with Archangel Lucifer. It's almost done. So he is actually going to take on the representation of those who have harmed you. So his face is changing into other faces. I don't know what they look like. I just can tell that his energy is shifting in his face. And it's becoming another face, another face, another face. And he's crying black tears. And he's going to take on the representation of all of those who have harmed your soul. And that um, if you have the ability to forgive him. This is important. Because it's helping to ignite anger inside of you. And this is a lot of where the anger was coming from and why that sinister being was attached to you. 
because this is soul contract stuff, but it's not, you have to work through the lessons, but this is unreconciled soul wounds. And you've been trying to clear these out, and that's where a sinister guy comes in, attaches you all this other crap, then is like, ooh, yummy. He attaches you, now your energy field is cold and bloated, and you're very far away. Like, now all this stuff, okay? So we're reconciling this. And when Archangel Lucifer asks you to forgive all of these people, he's a representative of all these people that have hurt you, can you forgive me? And so now the anger is coming out, which is important because you were angry. Now you're understanding the anger. And you should be angry. <laughs> like that would be normal. <laughs> that would be normal, healthy anger. Because that's how we process our reality. If we don't allow ourselves to feel anger, we're pent, pent up inside. <sighs> You're kind of barfing out blubber and intestines and body parts. You're puking out body parts. The anger, the baby in your throat's dissolved, but you're like puking out like liver, intestines, kidneys. And they're not yours. They're somebody else's body parts. That's what's strange about it. Like it's all this is coming out. You're so full of hate now. So it's a, it's safe for you to take it out. It's, a, it's safe. This is a safe place. You're not going to hurt Archangel Lucifer. You're not going to hurt anybody. It's safe for you to take it out. So you've got like a dagger and you just start stabbing him in the heart over and over again and telling him how much you hate him. And Archangel Michael is his hands on your shoulders and is still supporting you and sending love into you. As you're venting all of this old, 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 old energy. You're not hurting anybody. You need to get this out. However it needs to come out. No judgment at all. Nobody's judging your feelings. You're almost exhausted, which means you're almost through here, the venting process. So then we can ask you again, you know, about the forgiveness in Archangel Lucifer. <sighs> Boy, you're tired. Oh, you're so, so exhausted. This has been putting you through the ringer. My gosh, you're so exhausted. You almost can't even stand again. It's almost like you barely can stand on your own two feet. Because you gotta, you're gonna have to forgive people that have wronged you. You, you're gonna have to. If you don't forgive them, you'll be attached to people for lifetimes to come. You don't need to be attached. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. There's literally nothing else to learn from this. If you want to continue with the pain and suffering, go for it. But you don't have to. Let it go. Forgive return to God and source these parts of your wounded soul heal in source receive the bigger picture understanding and love all the parts of God that have played the difficult roles okay that have hurt you you playing the difficult role of being hurt so we're all playing different parts of of God we're all parts of God you're so tired you can't forgive Lucifer. You can't. Uh, that's that's not good feeling. You're becoming dark inside your eyes now. Okay, we're gonna just go with it. My God, this is really exhausting. You're turning into a very dark person. You're pale with really blonde, pale blonde hair and really dark black eyes. And you will make every aspect of Lucifer pay. Every one of his aspects pay. And he shows you the mirror that you're now an aspect of him. 
So who's actually going to pay other than yourself? You then will pay. You're a bit startled by this, but you still feel this, this like, I mean, you feel like pure hate. Like, it's interesting because it's almost like it creates a soul inside of you, a consciousness, a soul itself that becomes your hate. And you work with that soul in order to fulfill a contract you created for yourself which is to make sure every single one of these people got their just desserts. And you're going to make sure of it. God, this is really exhausting. This is light. This is history. This is huge history. This is really huge history. We're not talking just planet Earth here. I mean, we're talking... I mean, this is real history. That soul, you created a soul of, of pure hate inside yourself. You created a soul of pure hate. You birthed it. You created a baby soul uh, inside yourself of pure hate. That's because all these wounded parts of your soul, um, their only way that they knew how to reconcile was to create an, basically an aspect of themselves come together that will not forgive, will not forget, and the only way they're going to reconcile it is then to become a force to be reckoned with in order for those souls to know what they did was wrong. So now you become the teacher, but also the student of hate. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just another pathway, you know? The, the, the horror is done to you. Now you can be the horror done to others. In order to reconcile the horror, that never goes away. Because until we learn forgiveness, it just keeps going around and around and around a circle forever. The solution to literally everything in the universe is forgiveness. So God has to forgive God's own self. And the Lucifer within you has to forgive the Lucifer within others. This is so amazing because you're actually catching up with yourself now in this now time. So all these events ha have already happened. The, the horror that you endured, then becoming the horror that others endured, um, that you hadn't actually come to completion with it. It's still been lingering, which is... I don't know when these events happen. They're old, 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 old energies. But they're still living as if they still exist right now inside yourself, okay? So you're being hurt and you're hurting others at the exact same time inside yourself. So you're being hurt and you're hurting yourself at the same time too because we're all connected. And all times exist at the same time. Now you literally are catching up and having this massive awakening about yourself and you're coming on completely up to speed as if you were in a weird sleep state of a lot of nightmares. <laughs> and now you're just like, whoa, what, what just happened? Because <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> you're coming back to yourself. Like in a brand new way, like you're waking up in a brand new way, okay? <laughs> you, you're you just like kind of giggling in a way. It's like this delirious joy because that was so much. That was so hard. That was so much. Then it was too. It was a lot. It was a lot. That stuff is co totally transformed, just so you know. That whole lineage, done. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And that's going to give you a lot of inner peace as well inside yourself. That's going to give you a total edge with this. Again, your energy field is feeling like zen. It's starting to become more zen. You're really red in color. You're really like really sporting the red energy. I don't know what that means per se, but it's very red everywhere. 
And I'm kind of waiting for something to feel complete with Archangel Lucifer so we could cross the line and look at these shadows or figure out what is what's next. Something still feels incomplete with Lucifer. So let's just see. You need a long time to think is what you say. You need a very long time in meditation and you still have a bit of a, um, just a little bit of a tinge, okay, of unreconciled energy towards Archangel Lucifer's inspirations, okay. And he echoes back to remember the mirror. That your, your hate or your anger or your spite is what you don't like in Archangel Lucifer that now exists inside yourself when you choose to channel the same energy. And Archangel Lucifer is here to help us conquer ourselves, not hurt us. We follow certain pathways of learning, okay? But we also can rise above those pathways and be transformed. So Lucifer can be like a phoenix in a way. It's going to be a painful process, but then reborn from the ashes is this phenomenal experience. And that's why he's the, the morning star, like he's the brightest star. Because it's a very painful path when you when he's helping to guide your soul into transformation. It's a painful, difficult path, but you can't hate him. Because then you're just the hate that you hate him for. Now you are it. So you can't hate. You see? Because this is how you become then reborn and rise above once you understand that. You're already shifting, your eyes are shifting. And you don't want to look at him in this way anymore. You don't want to look at bad things in this way anymore. You actually want to be reborn. You want to be set free. And Lucifer says, I want to be set free too. And he nods. And I see Michael and you and Lucifer holding hands. And you choose to leave this red place behind with the three shadows. Like it doesn't matter anymore. Because once you choose to be set free, you're already gone. And you have nothing to do with this red place. It's time to move on from it. It feels like the main thing was to reconcile this relationship with Archangel Lucifer and the wounded soul. Soul aspects of you that created a lineage of the opposing extreme. And to come full circle so you can truly be set free from that soul timeline. Which is a big, it was a very old one. I don't feel that baby soul of hate anymore. It feels transmuted. You're uh, going to visit Archangel Raphael in in the higher dimensional planes and you are welcomed with just radiant love and adoration of you it's still um it's still like let's i mean you could say it's the sixth dimension or something it's much higher but um it's it's full of love it's full of welcome um it, we could still go higher but this is an appropriate dimension for the next step here feels so welcoming it's so great it's like a vacation from life it's like yes <laughs> yes i will i will stay here sure <laughs> yeah that sounds great <laughs> yeah so you're just i mean you're in therapy like you're in therapy but it's like massage and sauna and massage again and rest and a recovery light therapy chamber sound healing like you're getting the works it's really great <laughs> i mean i see like time pass and you're just soaking it up you're so happy 
It's been like 30 years. I know it sounds crazy. It's literally been like 30 seconds, but in the energy realm, like they're showing me that you've been in this dimension for what we would define as like 30 years. You look just radiant. You look like, you know, when they go to the Emerald City and they get in the Wizard of Oz, they get all like buffed up and scrubbed up and they're just like so awesome, like so happy and clean and squeaky and great. And you're like this right now. It's like you just made it to the Emerald City with Archangel Raphael. <laughs> it's perfect. You're so happy. You want to go back home. And it's like going home to Kansas is, it's like, <sighs> I feel like it's going to a higher dimension, but let's see, okay? It feels like going to a higher dimension to me, but let's just see. Because you are, I feel this movement in your heart that you are ready to move beyond, but you do not want, you don't want to go back to the red plate. You need a long time of separation, like a really big intermission, because it's just too soon. It's just simply too soon. So you're actually just, there's a stairway that appears and you're going up to like the seventh or eighth dimension. And it's, it's actually quiet. But there's um, sounds that play here and it reminds me of raindrops on puddles. And, but it's very serene. It's very comfortable. It's almost like um, getting swept away in a fantasy. But feeling very peaceful. All right, now we're going up to even higher, okay? <sighs> you need to let some things go still. You're still too heavy. You're going to have to let some stuff go still. I ask you why you're sad. We need to get you up to a higher dimension and you're holding yourself back. Why are you doing that? Something about a baby. And it's raining blood now. And it's starting to transform into... Okay, hold on. Okay. We're going to have to go back to that red place. So you got to get that. You're going to have to just do that. Oh man. Oh. Okay. So a lot of stress here. Again, you're full of hate and um reasons to hate, okay? Reasons to hate. Okay, this is pretty bad. I'm just gonna stick with it because I gotta clear this out of here. So those three shadows are all turning into a really dark side of Lucifer, okay? <sighs> You're really, really uncomfortable about it. <sighs> I'm telling you, just stay with it. You're not alone here. You're doing great. <sighs> all right, you're gonna... <laughs> You're going to need to vent some real hate here, okay? So you're creating the silver dagger and you're just ripping um, the three Lucifers apart. And you're just shredding him into little tiny pieces. And you're feeding his body to himself. And you're forcing him to eat a baby. And it's like you, you lost your mind in this scene. Like I can feel the experience of losing one's mind and not being able to see or know what you're doing. And then waking up wondering what happened as you're covered in blood and seeing all these bodies everywhere. And it's like you just became insane. So literally, literally what the, the energy is saying, okay? In this, it's like, that's what it's saying, okay? You're trying to hide from this. You don't want anybody to know you're trying to hide from this. 
You don't want anybody to know that you just did something this crazy. It's like really extreme. They say you don't need to hide from this. What you need is to figure out what's going on. Why is this happening? You, you don't need to hide from this. This does not make you an evil person. It makes We need to understand what happened. This is what we need to be doing here. Not lock you away for the rest of your life or put you to death. We actually need to figure out what is going on with the psychology, with your brain. What's going on that's cr that created this blackout and tyranny. It's... Okay, a really sinister dark being. And he's got a noose around your neck. And he's whispering in your ear. And you kind of do whatever he says. It's almost like he's encouraging you to commit suicide in this scene. And I tell you to remember what Archangel Lucifer said. Do not run away from your problems. You need to stand in them. And look at them. And this sinister guy, yeah, great, can run away from the problem. That's going to make everything better, isn't it? It's not. The real, the real things are the hardest and they're going to heal you. And you can do it. You don't need the sinister guy. You don't need him anymore. You know this, you don't need him. So now you're asking Lucifer if he will forgive you. He gives you a hug and picks you up and you're just a little child in his arms. He, he, he's uh, sort of saying something with his expression about love. And let's, it's like, it's, it, it's kind of like, there's no need for even asking for forgiveness. Um, I just want to be happy. And as he says it, it's you saying, I just want to be happy. And he nods. He says, let's go be happy. Let's let this go. You say, what if I can't ever let it go? He says, you can let it go. We work on it. We let it go. And then if we fall back into it, we just work on it. And then we try and let it go again. It becomes a, a pattern of slowly getting yourself out of that energy. And he's flying you all the way up to source. You've let a lot go. You aren't heavy. There's nothing holding you back. You're just a little sprite of light. You're really resisting letting God love you or God in. Like you're resisting going to heaven because you carry a lot of the Lucifer energy and the like so Lucifer so there's so many factions there's so many pathways that we can take and we have guides that help us down all these different pathways okay and we have archangels that help us down certain pathways so we can work with certain archangels through lots and lots and lots of lives so we work through the archangel Lucifer aspects of ourself and we have we're gonna have to face a lot of hard things to slowly die and then be reborn from the ashes it can be a very painful path but that doesn't mean it's not glorious and admirable and awing and wowsery and beautiful. It's very hard. So we need to put down those souls that choose the hardest paths. Why, why would we put down the souls that are choosing the hardest paths? We admire those souls because a lot of souls can't do that. You got to learn how to love yourself and let the love in. It's like Lucifer needs to learn how to let the love in. And we need to learn how to love Lucifer. Like this is a big part of our collective healing. And you're part of that too. 
just like I am, just like we all are. You are worthy of love. Lucifer is worthy of love. You're feeling a lot better. There's still a little bit of energetic, like, wanting to fall back into self-punishment, self-hatred. That sinister part um, is encouraging you to, to hurt yourself. It, and it may not be a, on a conscious level, but it's subconscious. It's That's what's creating anger and stress. It's making it hard for you to process stress. Um, but really, you have to get relentless with loving yourself. Relentless, okay? And you may have to slow time way down. Because we can get wound up in the moment and it's really hard to get unwound from it. And sometimes just going to bed and starting a fresh new day helps. But you, you, slowing down time and remembering one day at a time. One day at a time. I'm having one of those moments. I'm getting angry or I'm, I'm just sensitive. I'm worn out. I'm exhausted. What is something that you can do to bring a, an alternative energy into yourself? You could sing a song, you could play music, you can go for a walk, you can just bend down and touch your toes, you can just lay in bed and stare at the ceiling and just talk to yourself and say, I'm having a really hard time right now, I'm really stressed out, I want this experience to go away. And now be the listener. I know, I know how hard it is. I know that you want this experience to go away. That's why I'm here with you, helping you. So you have to be the voice of your pain and the voice of your angelic side. Like you have to speak to yourself and then help yourself. Be your own therapist. This is powerful. Speak out loud to yourself about what you're going through and then respond to yourself with love and support of what you're going through. And keep doing it until you said everything you needed to say. And you just, nothing else is coming, okay? And fall asleep or get up and go have an apple or something. Watch a, sh watch a cartoon show that would lift your spirits, like Adventure Time or something. It's really easy to watch. It's really fun. It's got a lot of good inner child energy. It's wise. It's a really it's a really good go-to. I always watch Adventure Time when I need... And I just going through a tough time. Like It just really brightens up my mood. You see, there's, there's always ways. It, maybe if you don't have a pet... Maybe you should think about getting a pet. Cause sometimes animals can be very therapeutic. Um, just the, the soft fur and the purring sound of the kitten or just someone to, to be your friend through your life experience. You know, I know it's a commitment, um, but that can be extremely worth your while. You'd be the best commitment of all time. Could be a soulmate here to support you through this healing process. And the th cool thing about animals, they aren't judging you. <laughs> Boy, you feel a lot better. Even saying that, you're already not in the zone with the, that other energy. You're like really starting to really feel the source energy. Just you're absorbing it from within. You're surrounded by it. You're starting to feel really healthy, really healthy balance. You're letting the light in. You're generating light from within. You're feeling peaceful. You're feeling a lot more tuned into that energy. You're not feeling wishy-washy with it. You're feeling tuned into it. You don't feel vulnerable to anything. You actually feel like you're resting in the arms of God, okay? And you're able to actually rest and sleep and just feel the safe energy circulating around you. Holding you, comforting you, nurturing you, not judging you. Unconditional love. (sighs) 
This is a super, I'm, my gosh, I'm so glad we did this today. This is going to be super helpful. I'm just disconnecting from your energy field here. You super needed that, my gosh. Okay, feeling a lot better. Thank you very much for all these amazing experiences with you. Thank you for sharing. For those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.